Hello, I'm Pat Minogue with the University of Florida. And this is Japanese climbing fern, which is something of a super invasive, Ligodium japonicum. Even as I touch it, there are numerous spores that are coming out of the sporophytes, and it reproduces by spores. They're microscopic. Those spores can move in the air. They can go with water currents. They can move, be moved by animals and by people. So it has a way of getting around. Japanese climbing fern begins as a few scattered individuals. You'll see it in particular close to pine stems, if you're in a pine stand. It'll climb up those stems. It likes the bark. It's easy for a Japanese climbing fern to go up the bark. To me, the big problem with Japanese climbing fern is that it grows over the top of some of our important understory vegetation, like this American beautyberry, which is important to wildlife as a food source. Very soon, this plant will be overtopped. It will be drugged, literally drugged towards the ground. It will be all covered up with this vine. It will choke this plant out and it will die. You can see here this brownish colored rachis that is the main stem. The leafy branches off the main rachis or pene are compound and triangular in overall outline. They are four to eight inches long. The leaflets or pinules are lobed and stalked. The terminal lobes are often dissected. The basal lobes are irregularly lobed or dissected. The leaf blade tissue is pubescent below with short curved hairs. The fertile leaflets are contracted in shape with two rows of sporangia along the leaf margin, which is rolled to partially cover the sporangia. Numerous, numerous spores are produced from those sporangia, and most spore production occurs in the month of October. Another way that Japanese climbing fern can spread is by rhizomes below ground. These are usually dark in color, almost a black. Japanese climbing fern to me looks quite different than old world climbing fern because of its feathery light green fronds, which contrast to the leathery appearance of the old world climbing fern, which has leaf margins which are more entire whereas Japanese climbing fern is lobed. We're in a 20-year-old slash pine stand here north of Bluntstown in the coastal plain of Florida. Here, Ligodium japonicum, Japanese climbing fern, a super invasive plant. This area had been raked for pine straw just four years ago, and they fertilized to promote the development of additional needles with good rainfall, this plant moved in and has now covered the ground in most of the area. It's climbing up these trees. It can climb easily to as much as 90 feet off the ground. I regard it as a super invasive weed. Japanese climbing fern is a significant threat to natural reproduction in pine and hardwood forests. It's begun an exponential rate of spread through North Florida. Please learn to recognize this plant and bring it under control right away.